Hello, and welcome to Camp SPL Family Friday Beach Art Party. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun and do some beach-themed uh, arts and crafts. Um, so two of the activities we're gonna do today are gonna be in the uh, virtual to-go pack. So if you weren't able to get that, if you call one of the stuff at public libraries to see if there's any more available, um, you might be able to get it from there. So um, we're gonna start with our first activity, which is um, paper clams. So um, basically, um, this will be in the pack. It's gonna be uh, some cutouts, um, and all you'll need is some um, sort of coloring device, uh, maybe markers, crayons, color pencils, whatever you have, and some scissors, and we'll start by cutting it out. Alright, got a big one cut out. Oops. Oh yeah, it's still attached. <laughs> okay, so we got a big one cut out. We're gonna cut out the small one. Alright, and now that they are cut out, let's start coloring them. Drop my shell. <laughs> okay, so um, let's make our small shell purple. And our big shell, let's maybe go back and forth between yellow and blue. How about that? We'll do sort of a stripe pattern on it. Alright, cool. So we have our shells colored, so now all we have to do is assemble them, and for that we will use our handy dandy glue stick. So, um, as you can see there's like a cut on both sides of the shell, so you're going to take both sides and you're going to sort of like fold them on top of each other, and that's going to give it like the sort of 3D effect. So. Um, and you're gonna use the glue to make it stick. So take a little bit of glue, put it on the bottom of the larger side, then fold it over. Press it down. And there you go. And then fold your shelf in half. Take some glue, do the same thing on the other side. And fold it in. Press it down, make it stick, and there you go. You got a colorful clam. So yeah, so let's do the same with the small one. So fold it in half, put a little glue on the bottom of one side, and then fold it over. Press it down, a little glue. Fold it over. And there you go. Got some little clams. Yeah, they're pretty cool. So uh, that is our first craft, and we will move on to the next one. All right. So our second activity, which will also be in the virtual to go pack, is a uh, paint pour seashell. So as you can see, I have the seashell over here that um, I had mixed some paint on, and it is nice and colorful. It is still a little wet, but uh, we will move on anyway. <laughs> so, um, you'll take your shell. Um, this is going to be a little messy, by the way. So you'll want to like put it in like a bowl or a box, uh, something that you won't get like paint everywhere. Um, then you're going to take a cup, and you'll have a couple different colors to choose from, and then you're going to mix them all together in your cup. So just pour a little bit in there. A little green, a little purple, a little yellow, a little red. Well, actually, that looks more pink. I think that's pink. And some blue. All right. So you got all your colors, and now it's the fun part. It's time to dump it. You're just going to 
literally just do that. Just dump it <laughs> right on top. All right, so you got the color on it. You're going to take it. Yeah, so that was a pretty cool pattern. So we're going to leave it in there, and you're going to just let it sit there and dry. Um, it took mine about, I would say, a day, day and a half to like fully dry. So um, just let it sit, um, and then when it's fully dry, you'll have a cool piece of art. So yeah, so that is our second craft. And now we'll move on to the next. All right, and welcome to our last um, activity. We are going to make salt dough starfish. So um, as you can see over here, have some nifty little starfish. And uh, this is a pretty simple uh, recipe, I think. So basically, uh, you need some flour, some salt, and some water. And we're going to mix them together. So uh, for the exact measurements, you would need about a half a cup of flour. a fourth a cup of salt. So you get my fourth cup right here. So. Right, and then a fourth a cup of water. All right, and then you're going to stir it all together. Get in there with your hands if you want. It is a nice, fun sensory thing. <laughs> I think we might need a little bit more water, so I'm gonna just give it a little dash. So you want the mixture to be um, sort of a solid dough, you don't want it to be too too sticky or wet. So you might have to add a little bit more water, a little bit more salt until you get that um, that right consistency. Yeah, so it's Nice, nice and gooey. <laughs> okay. So once you have it, um, there's a couple different ways that you can make your starfish. So I did a couple different ways. Um, you can either, if you have like a cookie cutter in the shape of a starfish, you can roll it out. Make it flat and then cut it out. So that's option one. If you don't have a star-shaped um, cookie cutter, you can do either one of two things. So I did sort of a pinch uh, method where I rolled it into a ball, then I smushed it down a little bit, and then I pinched the corners. to make a sort of star shape. And then you just like sort of keep pinching until like you get that star shape. Or last one, this one was like a little bit more. You can break your dough up into five pieces, roll them into sort of um, what would you say the shape is? <laughs> I, I would say sort of like a uh, long rectangle shape. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, to um, so make about five of them. All 
Alright, and then once they are assembled, you're going to put them together in a star shape. And then have the middle sort of overlap, press it together. And you can like sort of just re just the mold so that it looks the most like a starfish. And then like for the last bit you can either use like um, a pencil, a brush, something to like put some little dots on your starfish. Alright, so yeah, so now that you have them like assembled, um, there's two, two ways to, um, to cook them. You can either um, bake them in the oven for um, at 250 for about two hours or until they're hardened, um, or you can let them sit. And if you let them sit, it's going to take longer. It'll take probably about two days for them to like completely harden. Um, either way, uh, when you put them in, you're going to need to like flip them over a bit um, during it. And then once they're dry, then you can paint them with uh, either acrylic or temper paint, and you'll have your cool craft. I even made like a, a sort of a seashell one. That one didn't totally come out well, but <laughs> but um, but yeah, you can like play with the salt dough and make pretty much anything with it. So it's it's a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed all these different activities that we did today, and uh, just keep partying on. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.